become familiar with measurement in the machine shop, a basic necessity is understanding the vernier scale. You will quickly recognize the use of this scale on many measuring tools as well as machine tools. The barrel of the mic is graduated in much the same way as the vernier caliper is, with hundreds or tenths and four divisions of 25 thou each. Then on the thimble, there are graduations all the way around that told And voila, 1.3355, one inch, 335 thousandths and five tenths. They're precision ground standards, gauges that range in size from 100 thousandths to four inches and can be used in combinations to More represent. commonly used are the undersize, which are actually two tenths of a thousand smaller than the marked size. The reason for While this motion is that would be measured with very different tools. The most important and versatile of these are what's known as dial indicators. The most common dial indicators Actually like this easy one. to position. They have one knob in the middle here that releases the tension on all three joints and then enables you to position the indicator and lock everything in position with one knob. And we'll measure it with the digital mic. Well, this one measures one thousandth, eight tenths, and fifty millionths. So that means our tenth indicator would show the thickness of my hair to be like this. Now you can appreciate just how small one line or one tenth really is. Glimpse into the machine shop. And you can begin to look at parts and pieces a little differently. It's not about tools and who has the most. It's about knowledge and application. It's about analyzing what needs to be done and understanding all the available methods to fulfill those needs. And more importantly, it's about knowing what to do when things go wrong. Not if, but when. Now it's time to get out there and be an active part in this world of machines. I'm Marshall Burr. Be safe.